Today, we'll be creating this painting of the moon. The underpainting will be done with acrylic paint and the top coats in oil paint. So let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using a 40 by 40 centimeter single thick canvas, a gallery series brush set, a white charcoal pencil to draw up our moon shape, some titanium white and Mars black oil paint and paints gray, phthalo blue and yellow ochre satin series acrylic paints. The first step is to put the keys into each corner. We do this because we will be scumbling a lot of tone on and there is pressure on the canvas required to do this. So a taut canvas is preferable. Next we cover the canvas with a thin coat of Payne's Grey Satin Series Acrylic and allow this to dry. Payne's Grey is a good tone because it has a little warmth to it, unlike black which is very stark. Once our paint is dry, we need to mark up the profile of the moon. To do this, I use a plastic bowl as a template. The canvas is a square 40 by 40 centimetre canvas, and this bowl measures 30 centimetres in diameter. A white charcoal pencil can be used to create the profile. As a matter of interest, the moon is actually not round. It is classified as an oblate spheroid, meaning it has the shape of a ball that is slightly flattened. But this is not noticeable on viewing it with the naked eye. So a round salad bowl template will be fine in this case. Next, we scrub in a few patches of phthalo blue onto the Payne's Grey. We want this colour fairly subtle. We can then scrub in some yellow ochre in areas. Although the moon is a grey colour, at certain times it reflects light and colour due to an optical phenomena in our atmosphere, not the moon itself, or in other words, just an apparent colour. It also adds more interest to the painting. Allow these colours to dry. Next, we can start to add a series of greys to tonally model our moon. Because our moon is more or less round, we need to bear this in mind when it comes to adding tone. On our moon here, the sunlight is emitting from the left. So the right side of our moon will be in shadow and the left side will be in highlight. We have supplied a tonal guide that you can find on our website if you would like to recreate this project. So we squeeze out some titanium white and Mars black in oil paint and create a series of grey tones from very light to medium dark. We will be laying on pure titanium white at a later stage, but we need to lay some mid tones down first. Due to the fact that we'll be laying titanium white tone over the top of this, it's best to keep the coat as thin as you can, as it's a lot harder to lighten thick dark paint. Because this is in highlight, this tone should be light. As we said earlier, a lot of this tone will be scumbled on. Now, if you haven't heard the term scumble, it may sound like a funny word, but it just means lightly charging your brush with paint and scrubbing the brush lightly over the surface of the canvas. This way, you can slowly build up the tone with a lot of control. It has a particularly nice look to it and the paint only sits on the high part of the weave, giving it almost a half tone look. Refer to the reference printout and slowly build up the tones. Pay special attention to the dark areas and give them a very light scumble with a light tone. All craters start off looking like this after they form, but the rays gradually fade away as they sit on the surface. The Tycho Crater is only 108 million years old, which compared to the 4.53 billion years of the moon is really nothing. So a new kid on the block if you like. Keep working over the moon, adding small dots of white and details here and there. Thank you. 
The moon is Earth's only natural satellite and the fifth largest moon in the solar system. A lot of people wonder how the moon was formed and the most widely accepted theory is that the moon formed due to a collision between Earth and another small planet about the size of Mars called Thea. The debris from this impact collected in orbit around the Earth to form the Moon over millions and millions of years. The Moon's presence helps stabilise our planet's wobble. It moderates our climate and causes the tidal activity on Earth. The Moon is 385,000 kilometres from Earth and is actually moving away from Earth at a rate of 3.8 centimetres a year. The final step is to lay the deep black of space in around the Moon with Mars black. And voila! Well, thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this fun little lesson. Stay tuned because we've got lots more lessons coming up. And we'll see you next time.